Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial where we are going to compare NPOI and Iron XL. So I've created a Windows form application for comparing Iron XL and NPOI. You'll need to install the Iron XL and NPOI.xl libraries in your project. I've installed these libraries using the NuGet package manager. You can download them from the NuGet website or you can install them using the NuGet console manager. These other visible libraries are also important, but the main libraries we want to use are the IronXL and NPOI. So after installing those libraries, we're going to move to the Windows form. So you're going to want to create a layout similar to this. I've created uh, two buttons, Load Excel and Load NPOI Excel. One data grid view and two buttons at the bottom, Export CSV and Export JSON. So we're going to double click on the load Excel button to see the code behind it. This is the Excel file path, which we're going to read from and export to. So let's take a look at that Excel file. So this is the Excel file, which contains 630,500 cells full of data. So that's a huge amount of data. In the on-click event of the load Excel button, we use the first three lines to clear the data grid view. Next, we use uh, Next, we load the Excel file using Iron Excel and convert the sheet into a data table with just a single line. After that, we set the data source of the data grid view to the data table. And Iron Excel completes these steps with only four lines of code, which is super easy and super fast. So let's move to the GUI layout and see the code for the load Excel and POI by double clicking on it. So this is the code for the NPOI library to load the Excel file and show it on the data grid view. We create a data table object, a list of strings, and an iSheet object. Next, we use file stream to open the Excel file and load using the, the AXSF workbook object from NPOI. We have to use different namespaces for different formats of Excel file. So as you can see, this is already getting more complex and not as easy as Iron XL. After that, we write the following code to show that the Excel file has been loaded by NPOI into the data grid view. And in NPOI, there's no function to convert the Excel sheet directly to the data table. Uh, but Iron XL does this, and it's really easy to use. So as you can see, uh, MPOI is not really easy to utilize, and the functionality is just not user-friendly. So let's go ahead and move to the GUI and see the functionality of the Export CSV button. So this is the code to export the Excel file to a CSV file by Iron Excel. Super useful. MPOI uh, does not support exporting of Excel files to any other format, which is a drawback of MPOI. Similarly, we write the code to export the Excel to JSON, which is provided by Iron Excel. So as we run the project, we'll see the outcome and click on the Load Excel button. And boom, uh, loads the Excel file very fast. Loading time is, is just crazy fast. Iron Excel loads it perfectly. All rows and columns are present, and the formatting is exactly the same as the Excel file, as you can see. So let's load the file using NPOI. And as you can see, NPOI has taken a long time to load. It's never good. Finally, the Excel file is loaded. It took a long time, and that could affect application speed. So let's export the Excel file to a CSV file by clicking on the Export CSV button. And Iron Excel exports the Excel file to the CSV file and saves it to your desired location. So now let's export the Excel file to the JSON for file format. And the Excel file is converted to the JSON format without any errors. And uh, this is the beauty of Iron Excel. It just performs this action without complexity. So as you can see, these are the files exported by Iron Excel. One is CSV and the other is a JSON file. So everything that we wanted. All right, I hope this tutorial was really helpful. And as always, if you need any assistance, our support team is standing by ready to help. 